One of the most common myths that I've heard is that GPC coughs and colds and that would be a really rare consultation for me. I didn't want to lock myself into just doing one thing all the time. I just realised that I liked really a little bit of everything. I liked a bit of everything and the eclectic nature of it and not quite knowing what comes in the door. My day can start from a blood pressure check through to someone who's really badly diabetic. Everything from newborn care through to an adolescent who's struggling, right through to an elderly person who might be having some issues with breathlessness. The truth is that I'm using my brain at every instant in a whole range of medical specialties. In one consultation, I might have to deal with three things that are actually across three specialty areas. Who's going to do that? The GP. They really balance really technical information and um, importance of skills with the biographical understanding of the, the person and the, the, the culture that exists in an organisation. General practice can be tailored to your interests. You get to pick and choose what areas you want to go deeper into. I just fell in love with the area of adolescent health in primary care. Predominantly I work in refugee health, but also I have interests in women's health and in mental health, orthopaedic, sexual health, dermatology, paediatrics, obstetrics and gynaecology, psychiatry, emergency department medicine, just to name a few things. And so you get that freedom and flexibility in terms of what you want to become better at. Being a general practitioner gives you so many options. You really are in charge of your own business. You can also choose the types of patients or the types of conditions you want to see more frequently. You don't have to be a slave to the clock. You can take time off. You can work hard in this area or that area. Choose what sort of time you allow for patients and how much you charge them. I've known GPs who would go on a hikes because, you know, they're working rurally and the nature is so much better there. I chose to be a GP in the rural because I really love the space and I really love the lifestyle in the rural area. Maybe you want to work two days in the metro areas, another two days rurally. The landscape of GP in the rural is actually quite broad. We can be a general physician, can be a dermatologist. General practice gives you a lot of scope to learn a lot of new things and develop interests and have a lot of fun along the way. You can do it the way you want to do it.